Hi, my name is Jamie Jo. I ha have a channel on YouTube called Banana and Germana, and I do art videos for Disney, DreamWorks, and other things. I first got started on YouTube by doing fan videos of Amazing Bill and Dan is on Fire. The most inspirational YouTuber to me is Kick the PJ because he just makes amazing videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's a lovely guy. He's very lovely. Um, but no, all of his content just has so much work put into it and it's so well lit and well produced that it, you can't not like it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not very good at dealing with hate comments. And I don't get that many hate comments. It's just like enough to make me like, because yeah. um, you, you it's not good to respond ever to it. That's the, main thing. Yeah, if you yeah, respond same. to it, you just feel it. Yeah. It's much better just to delete it and make pretend it doesn't exist. But it's yeah. still kind of, you've read it, so yeah. it's a bit difficult. <laughs> Anyone that's starting out, I would just say, don't be afraid to go for it. Don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be afraid. Um, and also, don't sell out your integrity with it. Don't just do the quick baby type of videos, because those are going to be very short-lived, and you need to build a nice audience, build a friendly fan base with you that support you. I'd like to see Emily Blunt have one because she has such a lovely accent and voice. She'd be brilliant at vlogging, I think. <laughs> Sometimes your audience goes ahead and responds for you and I think they trying to find me very pleasant with you. They're like, oh, you're not correct there, but have a nice day. <laughs> it's been very nice on my channel recently. Yeah. <laughs> What I would say about it is they did retract what they were doing, and so they made it right. So I think everyone in the community feels okay with them now, but at the time it was yeah, a bit like, it was like, like, it was oh, like no. everyone going, oh my gosh, how could they? But they realized, and so it, it turned out okay. And then <laughs> One of my favorite YouTubers to watch is Dodie Clark, Doddle Oddle. She's my friend, and she's always just really herself on camera and you don't see a lot of that a lot of the time sometimes people get the very you can tell when they're being fake because they're speaking louder they're like have that roboticness to them but she's always just completely herself and genuine it's like oh there was one that i saw actually in person happen which was picking up girls and it wasn't staged they were literally picking up young children and taking them from people and saying isn't this a fun prank and i was like no, <laughs> it's terrible. Um, but there's there's definitely a line with prank videos. I know here at Sitz, um, prank prankers are not allowed to prank if they're seen pranking. They actually are um, taken out of the venue because okay. there's there's been people who've tried to do bad pranks and so it's just not tolerated anymore. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be because the people who are on top now eventually are going to have to step down and then you'll see yeah. a new reign of people come up and yeah, so definitely. future YouTube's just the younger generation right now really so Watch out, people. we'll see how that goes <laughs> YouTube has kind of I think what everyone's saying like the change YouTube's happened it's because it was discovered by mainstream people like there's a definite line point of YouTube's known by everyone now um, but it's also its own genre in a sense now, and so kind of like with famous baseball stars, famous people in medicine, that kind of thing, it's, it's its own system. And so in its sense, people are celebrities in YouTube properly now, whereas in the past they weren't, but since they are proper celebrities, it's okay to be in mainstream media. It seems normal nowadays. <laughs> For me, I actually do drawing tutorials and things, so a lot of the time I think they're not going to understand YouTube. I just say, oh, I do drawing tutorials for Disney, actually. It goes on the Disney channel and it goes on their Facebook page, and that's what I do. And they go, oh, you're a Disney animator? Cool. And I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> My favorite movie that I've done is a giant Pokemon meal. It took me about a month to paint it, and it went across a whole big wall, but... It was a lot of fun and took way too much time, but <laughs> I'm proud that I did it. <laughs> Honestly, just practice. Just practice as much as you can because that's the only way you're going to get better. Even if you have a teacher, there's only so much they can say. You actually have to do it yourself. And so do a drawing, just five drawings a day, and you'll be set. <laughs> Oh, come on, it's Disney. <laughs> I love Disney. Um, I think for me it's just one of those things where 
the speaking as person who's actually done like Pixar internships on those kind of things, one of the main thing that Disney has that a lot of other animation animation companies don't is they for any character they design, you have to be able to recognize it just from the silhouette. Not a lot of people think about that, but you can just take a silhouette and outline of any of their characters and you're gonna recognize it. And there's not too many animation things you can really do that have done that before and so I think that's one of the things that intrigues me about Disney the most is they've taken so much effort into their designs. What they're probably doing is just making the girls eyes really big and their heads look tiny and waistlines and that kind of stuff. It's things that are cliche, cute and sell. But I think Disney's also um, been a lot more diverse recently, um, especially like Moana that's coming out and their other movies there. They are taking into consideration of, okay, let's get outside of the 1950s box of this is what people should look like, this is what people should be, and let's make movies for everyone, let's be more diverse. <laughs> so, I think it's getting better. <laughs> I'm so excited to meet you guys at Sun Line the City, and so be sure to check out my stand. I'm going to be there all day, um, and then tomorrow I have panels and a meet and greet, and it's so lovely to see you guys, and thank you so much. <laughs>